this bow and arrow, you're going to need three balloons. So let's start with the first one. You're gonna inflate this one almost all the way to the end. Just leave a little bit of uninflated end to tie it. Take the uninflated end and the nozzle, tie them together. You want this balloon to be fairly firm because that's the spring action that fires the arrow. Now we're going to make a basic twist in the middle at the midpoint right about here. Part one, get your second balloon. Get your second balloon, inflate it to about an inch from the end. What we're going to do is attach this to our bone arrow with a series of fold twists. Take the nozzle and you're going to make a fold twist around the bow here and reattach the nozzle into here with the fold twist. Hold the nozzle and then make a twist. Wrap the nozzle around. Now we're going to do the same thing, making another fold twist on the other side, but this time you can fold the twist into the middle here. And then this uninflated end twists into the bottom here. Just basically match the length and we'll cut off the rest. Pinch your uninflated end, cut, deflate, tie it off. Now you need your next balloon for the string. You don't inflate this one at all. Simply tie it at the top, tie it at the bottom. Now take your string and tie it down here to either piece of the balloon you have left or to the intersection of the balloons. And you have your bow. Now you just inflate a balloon become the arrow. You have your balloon for the arrow, inflate it with maybe four or five inches from the end. You can inflate it all the way, but I think it becomes long and unwieldy if you have a full length of 260 balloon. Inflate it part way, tie it off. Straighten it out. You have your arrow, you're ready to put it all together. It's 
cool about this bow and arrow is it has this ledge here to rest the arrow on. And so all you do is hold here, hold the nozzle against the bow, and if you like, you can create two pinch twists on the bottom here to evoke uh, feathers on your arrow. Sometimes they do get caught in the bow here, so that'll be up to you. But essentially, you just feed this through, hold both sides of the balloon here around the bow. Flex the bow, let go. You have a cool bow and arrow.